Hi there guys. Today I'd like to show you another watch from my collection. This is the Seiko Sumo SBDC 003 or the SBDC 033 if you have the new model with the X Prospects marker on it. Um, this is, uh, well it was originally a JDM model or Japanese domestic only model uh, before going out to full international markets. It is 44 mils across excluding the crown. You have a signed Seiko crown. Um, 20 mil bracelet in the Super Oyster style with uh, a sort of a polished um, edge to the inner um, points there. You've got the standard Seiko clasp, which is push button for extra security. Um, it does have, where are we? It does have a diver's extension, uh, whether you can see that or not. And that is um, a welcome addition and goes to prove this is actually a proper tool watch. Um, you have solid end links. It's a welcome addition to this, uh, this watch. You have the Seiko Tsunami symbol and uh, it says there Air Divers 200mm Seiko uh, along with the number. This watch um, is 200 meters water resistant so it is um, an Air Divers watch, it isn't a Gas Divers watch but again 200 meters is more than enough for most people and if you're down at um, over 200 meters then you've got real problems <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. The watch has a matte blue dial which is beautiful along with the blue bezel and it has applied markers with Seiko's Luma Bright material on the inside. Uh, the watch is extremely bright and um, it certainly uh, doesn't fail in the middle of the night in terms of um, being able to tell the time appropriately or down in the depths if you're a diver. As you can see there the watch has a wonderful loom um, capability. You've got the uh, date marker there and the watch contains Seiko 6R15 movement which as most of you would know is um, a slightly higher grade movement than what you'd find in the SKX um, but it is certainly still a tool watch movement and is built for reliability over beauty and form but that's not to say that it isn't finished well the rotor as I understand does have um, the uh, Tokyo stripes on it and um, it is finished to a, you know, a fairly high standard it's just that it's not completely decorated uh, reason being this watch has absolutely no reason to have a display back it is a diver's tool watch it is not a play toy uh, for those of you that are concerned about the size of the watch, I have a 7.5 inch wrist and that is what the watch looks like on my wrist. Um, it is on the larger side, yes, but it really does taper nicely and fit around the wrist due to the curved lugs. Again, beautiful watch, extremely accurate, um, very, very good in the surf and the sea and just what you'd expect to be built from Seiko, just absolute quality. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed it, and if there are any questions, please post them in the comments, and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye.